People are afraid to merge on freeways in Los Angeles. In the beginning, the universe was created. This has made a lot of people very angry and been widely regarded as a bad move. This is the first thing I hear when I come back to the city. Blair picks me up from LAX and mutters this under her breath as her car drives up the on-ramp. In his blue gardens, men and girls came and went like moths among the whisperings and the champagne and the stars. She says, people are afraid to merge on freeways in Los Angeles. I can't sleep. There's a woman stuck between my eyelids. Though that sentence shouldn't bother me, it stays in my mind for an uncomfortable long time. Nothing else seems to matter. I would tell her to get out if I could. But there's a woman stuck in my head. Not the fact that I'm 18 and it's December and the ride on the plane had been rough and the couple from Santa Barbara who were sitting across from me in first class had gotten pretty drunk. I don't want to repeat my innocence. I want the pleasure of losing my pain. Not the mud that had splattered the legs of my jeans, which felt kind of cold and loose earlier that day at an airport in New Hampshire. Starved for affection and terrified of abandonment, I began to wonder if sex was really just an excuse to look deeper into another human being's eyes. Not the stain on the arm of the wrinkled, damp shirt I wear, a shirt which had looked fresh and clean this morning. It wasn't my life she was after, it was more. She wanted to eat my heart and be lost in the desert with what she'd done. Not the tear on the neck of my gray argyle vest, which seems vaguely more eastern than before, especially next to Blair's clean tight jeans and her pale blue t-shirt. She wanted to fall on her knees and give birth from it. She wanted to hurt me as only a child can be hurt by its mother. All of this seems irrelevant next to that one sentence. You are not the kind of guy who would be in a place like this at this time of the morning. It seems easier to hear that people are afraid to merge rather than I'm pretty sure Muriel was anorexic. Passion has little to do with euphoria and everything to do with patience. Or the singer on the radio crying out about magnetic waves. Nothing else seems to matter to me but those ten words. It is not about feeling good. It is about endurance. Not the warm winds which seem to propel the car down the empty asphalt freeway. Or the faded smell of marijuana which so faintly permeates Blair's car. Like patience, passion comes from the same Latin root, pati. It does not mean to flow with exuberance. It means... All it comes down to is that I'm a boy coming home for a month and seeing someone whom I haven't seen in four months, and people are afraid to merge.